G'day, g'day. What do you say? This is uh, Johnny Seville from Acorn Wealth Corp coming to you from Melbourne, Australia today. And we have, uh, of course, uh, market has continued to push up. Let's take a look at what's been going on uh, over this last couple days. Now, um, uh, as you can see, the S&P 500 is, uh, is still in a bearish open range. Uh, we'll, we'll switch over to the, um, uh, the cleaner chart here that I've, uh, I've drawn up for us on the SPY. Uh, as you, as I mentioned on uh, Tuesday night, uh, we 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 would be expecting this to, to to quite likely rally up into this 282, even possibly 283, 284. So I'm basically hitting where this uh, this uh, previous breakdown of resistance has come from. Um, we uh, the the bearish open range is very likely to succeed. We, we, I can't see us rallying all the way up to. Uh, uh, to the high of um, <laughs> uh, 290, 293. So um, uh, it should be another successful open range. And uh, tomorrow is going to be the last day of that, um, as you can see, being uh, Thursday the 18th. So um, uh, and then a new open range happens uh, on Friday, being the third Friday of the month. Uh, then we look to see if we close higher or lower than Friday's range to give us the next bullish or bearish signal. So, so far... That's what we've got happening on the SPY. We're, we're having a bounce off that beautiful target that we saw, and uh, we're rallying up towards that resistance. We can take a look at the hourly chart to see if there's any kind of hints that are being given to us, but uh, essentially it's um, uh, it's business as usual here at the moment. It's kind of just rallying up. It's obviously got signs of oscillation, a little bit of momentum, but overall um, uh, I'd say mostly oscillation. And, um, you know, we can you can look at... Uh, some of these candles and uh, look for some in signs of uh, early patterns if you like uh, so we can do that as you can see you know there's it's, it's not really quite well formed enough I would say at this point um, you've, you've got more like more than likely that's probably the clearest uh, uh, scenario that we can see is that uh, ascending triangle formation that happened down the bottom and uh, if we look at take a look at uh, at that level support to resistance <clears throat> to where that would break out to that would give us a target of 283 on the spy so I, I would expect that we, we could very likely see some more bullish action uh, until we hit that 283 target from the uh, um, the ascending triangle um, okay so that's what's happening in terms of the uh, the S&P now on high yield bonds uh, you can see that uh, high yield bonds have just kind of bounced off of uh, their resistance line as determined by that potential uh, uh, head and shoulders that we see form uh, potentially formed there. Um, and we can see the stocks above or below the 50 day moving average have uh, certainly bounced off of the 15% mark, but uh, kind of just uh, in this um, uh, in this, this no man's land at the moment at the moment or no person's land at the moment. Um, all right. So there you have it. That's what the smart money indicators are telling us. So again, I really wouldn't be doing anything new, um, uh, looking or looking for any really new positions um, that we aren't already looking at until next week, once we get the open range signal. Um, but uh, again, so we talked about some of our favourites in trading room on Tuesday night. Uh, again, just a quick update on some of those. Uh, AXON, I still really like this one. AXON, lots and lots of insider buying. Really performed well in the down market and um, has actually gone up over these last four days. So AXON, I still like a lot. I still think it's a valid entry here if you were looking for something to buy. And the target here is uh, $4.36. Um, on uh, on AXON again, really good insiders. Um, TROV, similar, very similar. Uh, again, this was one of our favourites. Has been for a couple of weeks now. Uh, we talked about it on Tuesday night. Uh, we were looking for this as an entry signal if it broke above 87 cents, uh, which it did. Um, back on Friday, October 5th. Uh, it's uh, it's now back up there at $1.05. Uh, I still like it. As I said on Tuesday night, I still like it. I still like it now as well. Um, it's um, uh, The entry signal was $0.87. Cents. It's broke through that already. Uh, so, um, But uh, uh, I do like it still. And um, as a possible entry, if you're looking for something, and uh, and certainly if it breaks above a dollar ten and closes above a dollar ten, that could be uh, the the catalyst for it to run to a dollar fifty seven or more. Uh, D E R M Derm also has insider buying, and uh, this one's still looking strong. Uh, this is also one of uh, 
uh, one of the stronger setups. Again, if that breaks above 1350, I'd probably wait for that to break. If you if you it weren't already in it, I'd be waiting for it to break above 1350. But that's performing well. Um, go go has been awesome. Um, now I took some pro as I mentioned in trading room last night. We were at a short-term uh, profit target, so I actually um, sold a, a piece of my position in GoGo -Go today. Nothing wrong with a 20-plus uh, percent profit. So I took a little bit off the table there, and uh, we'll see if that can break through tomorrow. It's uh, currently uh, right at resistance. So, uh, But at this point now, no matter what happens, I'm happy with that trade because I'm not going to lose money on it unless it suddenly gaps down huge, which is very unlikely. So um, it's nice to know that the worst-case scenario is a good scenario. Um, BW, this one. I like a lot. These are all my favorites on the long list right now, essentially, uh, that are, um, you know, kind of either really moving or uh, or could be uh, just about to. Uh, BW has a ton of insider buying. Um, I mean, this, this one, uh, as well as CHFS, were ones we just recently found. CHFS hasn't quite uh, uh, broken out yet, though. BW certainly seems to have started uh, over these last few days, though. Um, excellent move up, 8.85% today. Um, love this long setup. It, it's I still like it uh, at the uh, at the current prices. Um, so um, I'd, I, it's something I'd still buy. And um, and uh, you know it's got a fallen angel pattern. Lots of insider buying. So BW I like a lot. APRI, also one we talked about on Tuesday night, is a speculative, more of a day trader, a more advanced trader kind of setup. Um, we're looking for a break above 35 cents. It did break above 35 cents today, actually rallying as high as uh, 43 cents. So I had an 8 cent rally, um, or 20%, and then uh, kind of pulled back uh, to where it started from. So we'll see what happens with that tomorrow. Um, the first target we talked about was 57 cents. Um, and one other one to look at, in terms of um, uh, longs, Chris C R I S. We'll talk about this. Um, uh, talked about this a little while back, and again, you get to kind of that nice little B W kind of fallen angel type of entry way back when at 160. It's continued to be moving. Uh, so if this breaks, if this breaks out uh, above this level, above 245, um, that could be another a possible entry point. And if you were um, looking for an aggressive entry point, you could still consider it here. Um, so yeah, looking for a break above 245, but I mean, I, I've liked this for a while. Um, some of you may still be in this. Um, if we have a look uh, once more in terms of the insiders, you can see uh, you can see what's going on here. CRIS. There we go. Just that recent buying, as you can see here in November, after some selling happened uh, earlier in the year by one gentleman. Then you got the president and CEO and another director buy in. Uh, just recently, so uh, so there you go. Th those are the ones to watch. Um, the shorts are all holding really, really well. I don't really have much to update on those. They're kind of just been going up and down, but holding those levels perfectly. So which is fantastic to see. So um, uh, so uh, there you go. Uh, exciting. Um, another week ahead uh, of of a new open range. So um, have a wonderful rest of your evening, and uh, happy trading in Thursday's markets. Take care. Cheers.